Good evening and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've come this week to a place called Threepmuir Reservoir, which is just kind of out to the west of Edinburgh. It's in the shadow of the, the Pentland Hills. Um, that's a lovely part of the world, but I tell you what, the, the midges are really biting tonight, so I don't want, don't want to stand still for too long. Uh, I do have some insect repellent in my bag, which I'll probably put on in a minute or two. Um, all right, let me show you this just now. I'll, uh, I'll show you the reservoir. Look at that, is that not gorgeous? Right, but I'm maybe going to get a shot of that later on. We're not going to get sunset, I think, that much. Again, it's fairly plain to see. It's quite an overcast night, but you never know. Um, however, that's the least of my worries because the shot I've got in mind for tonight is one where you don't need to have a strong sunlight or low sunlight or whatever. It's in the trees and it's um, up the road behind us here. So that's what we'll... That's what we'll aim for. I'm going to put on some midget repellent <laughs> and then I'll see you further up the road. Okay. Well, that's me set up for the first shot now, as you can see, you can probably guess the kind of shot I was after. Um, I'm going for that kind of, you know, we've got this, this road here with the kind of trees up both sides. So I'm really kind of aiming for that, you know, the Game of Thrones shot in Ireland, that famous shot. But I don't live in Ireland, so I'm going to go with this one. The trees are a lot further apart than they are up there, but uh, we'll go for it anyway, see what we get. Now I've got my um, my SEL 1670 lens on here and I'm sitting about 65 mils or so. I'm not quite sure it's going to be tight enough, but let me put the movie on here and just let you show that off. Uh, hang on a second, I'll switch my ISO up a tad and I'll switch my f-stop down a tad. There we go, I'm right down at that. So as you can see the see what we're looking at. I do that every single week. It gets dark and I forget to switch everything up like that so as you can actually see the movie. Anyway, yeah, that's what we're looking at. Uh, so we've got basically everything kind of converging up to that point in the middle there, um, which I've got kind of sitting on the rule of thirds, uh, just at the kind of the end of the road, just up, up there somewhere. Okay. Um, I'm not entirely sure I like this shot. I might have to crop it, just crop the edges in, the sides in, just a wee bit like that. Uh, but I don't like this white patch up the top here. Um, so I don't know if I might be able to kind of clone that out later on. But really, you better try and catch it in camera if you can. Uh, so, we'll try for a longer lens in a minute. Let's just grab this shot though. Um, I'll switch that off again just now. You've seen it, all the converging lines and everything. Okay, so I'm going to turn my ISO back up to 100 because I think it was selected on like ISO 3200 there. I'm going to turn my f-stop up to... Let's go for f f9. Why not? That's really where this. I like the kind of sharpness from about f9 on this lens. Okay, so that's given me an exposure time because I'm in aperture priority. Exposure time of about two seconds. Okay, so here we go. Oh, focus up first off would be good. And one, two, three, click.
Right, so what I'm going to do, like I say, is kind of push in a wee bit further because I couldn't really quite get the the distance that was after there. So, I've got my long lens here. Like I say, I'm not that happy with this long lens. It's a, a Sony um, 55 to 210 millimeter lens. And uh, just attach it on there. It's not as sharp as it could be, this lens. Uh, that original lens is a lot sharper. Uh, put, the, uh, put the lens cap on this one. There we go. Honest, I do look after my lenses. Right. Okay, so there we go. I'll stick the movie on again so that again you can see it. Let me just put it back to ISO Auto and I'll take it right down. This one only goes down to f4.5, but here we go. I'll put the movie on like that. You can see it. And again, I'm going to what I'm going to do, like I said before, rather than crop it, and I want shot of that white bit at the top. So if I zoom in like that, okay, that does kind of get rid of it. I want to bring that down. I've got the white bit at the end, but now we can't see any of the trees. Let me just pull it out a tad. Where's that? There's the white bit there. Okay. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put the, the, uh, the road converging about halfway up. About there. Okay, and the road looks like it's kind of right down the middle, straight up the middle of the the picture there, converging halfway up. Now what I'll probably do, I suspect this is going to be a 16 by 9. The trees are nicely side lit because the sun is going down over there. There is a sunset, believe it or not. Uh, not a very good one, but there is a sunset. Um, hopefully, I'm not making any promises, but hopefully we might catch that later. Like I say, it's not a very good one, so nothing lost if we don't. Okay, anyway, uh, let me switch that movie off there. We're sitting at about, what's that? About 100 mil, something like that, just under 100 mil. There or thereabouts. So I'll turn my ISO back up to ISO 100. And they're going to go for F11, I think. No, F10. I can't actually remember what the best sharpness for this particular lens is if you go on youtube and see people using it they all say oh we all use it wide open and then they zoom in on things they don't really use it for landscape photography they're running around doing street photography you know um so it might be a great lens for that it's not great for landscape photography but it'll do it's not very sharp as you'll see when i show you the, the sort of 100 percent version of this picture um anyway that's that and i think we're probably just about ready now to take that particular shot. Here we go. Two and a half seconds. One, two, three, click. So we find ourselves in a bit of a race against time situation here because that sunset that I said we weren't going to get is happening and I'm trying to find a good place to uh, a good place to, to, to get a picture from a good composition um, <laughs> and I don't have much time left I think it's about half past nine sunsets at ten but you never know with it being as overcast as it is you never know when it's going to disappear behind the clouds and that'll be it. So, uh, yeah, trying to search. I came along this boardwalk here, um, thinking that's bound to lead out to the reservoir, except it didn't. So, uh, I'm walking back and I'll see if I can find a different place to stand. 
Right, well, I'm going to have to work quickly here because like I say, you never know when it's going to disappear. Um, I'm looking right across at the reservoir here and I've got the, uh, the water, or the sunset I should say, reflected in the loch. I've just set my tripod up on the wall of this bridge here. Um, so hopefully I won't knock it into the water. I'll be really annoyed with myself if I do. So, uh, switch that on. Very, very good. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to, if I switch the movie on, you'll be able to see what I'm looking at here. Uh, okay, I'll switch again into ISO auto, just as it clears up a bit. And what I'll do, if I get it right smack bang in the middle there, the reflection, I'm just going to zoom in. I don't know if you can see it there, but I'm going to zoom in on those trees and there's some reeds down the bottom here that I quite like and we've got this thing up here which is almost like, oops, there almost like a nuclear bomb going off which I really, really like so, again, very simple shot and I'm going to catch it now before it disappears uh, I'm sitting at F10, like I say I'll turn my ISO back up to ISO 100 I'll switch my movie off and there's a car coming so I'm going to have to move you in a tad okay Right, still see me? Yes, you can. That's fine. So, oops, I'm not quite level here. Oops. Up a tad, up a tad, up a tad. There we go. F10, one fifth of a second. And that should be it. Focus up. I'm just going to focus on the trees. Yeah. And that should be it. Let go of the tripod, Douglas. Two second timer. Take the shot. One, two, three, click. Right, well, we'll call it a night at that. I am getting eaten alive here, even though I've got the, the midgy cream on. It's not very pleasant. Um, so, yeah, we've got our sunset. We've got a picture of the trees. So, yeah, we'll call it a night at that. If you've enjoyed what you saw, do the usual. Please like, subscribe, leave some comments down below. i really like to hear what you think of these pictures. Please do tell me. It really helps the channel. The more comments I get, the more YouTube thinks people are interested, the more views I get and so on and so forth. That's how it works. So you would really, really, really be helping me out if you left some comments. That'd be fantastic. Okay, so yeah, please like, please subscribe, leave comments, hit the little bell icon down in the corner, and we're going to call it a night at that. Okay, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Cheers. <laughs>